Hello and welcome to the beginning of this course in PHP Object Oriented Programming. So this course is going to teach you the basics of object oriented programming in PHP. That way you will not feel uh, intimidated by code that you find in object oriented format in PHP. So what exactly will you learn in this series of videos? Well, the series will have five chapters. I'll divide it into five chapters. So the first part is uh, where we learn about classes and objects. Okay, so to begin with, I must mention that you need to have some basic knowledge of PHP before you can attempt this course. So this course is not for a beginner in PHP at all. This is for somebody who already knows the basics of PHP and is looking to advance their knowledge in PHP. Okay, so the first chapter we're going to learn about classes and objects and we'll see what exactly are methods inside classes and also what properties are. And then we're going to look at inheritance and we're going to look at instant instantiation of classes which will lead to inheritance it's the other way around and then we'll look at accessors like these uh, private public and protected or static and what exactly all these accessors mean and then in the second chapter we'll look at getters and setters and then we'll look at constructors and destructors for our classes and objects and then we'll also look We'll go to the third chapter where we look at abstract classes, interfaces, and traits, and what all these things actually are. So in this chapter here, you won't encounter these items very often in your code, but you will find projects that have these things, and at least it helps to know what exactly they are, so you can follow along with the code. And then we'll look at these uh, magic methods in the fourth chapter. So in here, uh, the magic methods are something like get, set, construct, the constructors. And then we'll look at core and to string. All these are, are magic methods that are used inside classes to achieve a specific goal. So we'll look at what these all mean. And then finally, we'll have a practical uh, sign up and login system that is going to implement this object oriented format as opposed to the procedural format that you are used to uh, when you begin to learn PHP. So hopefully all this is going to help you advance your knowledge in PHP and help you with your future projects. So I will see you in the next video.